Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Frostbite's Gaming Experience. Um, oh boy. Still, still trying to fend off Beast here. Oh boy. Had to use another one of my super heals. I still got quite a lot. I'm not too worried about the super heals. I'm just worried on the fact that it's actually really hard for me to hit Beast Doppelganger here. Like, it's, it's really hard to get a clean shot without taking a hit from him first. Or for him, because he moves around so fast. It's hard for me to actually get a good shot onto him. I need for Beast to get a shot, for him to be knocked back into a good direction that I am at, in order to get a hit off. And I hope that my attack doesn't go right through, too. That would also be really nice. Oh, like, see right there, that was, that was actually kind of bullshit. Ugh. Luckily, we can heal, and Evil Beast can't. Shadow Beast. Robo Beast. I mean, technically, my, my Beast is also a Robo Beast, so that doesn't... Okay. Like, I can't... I can't get a good shot off! He moves too fast. It's really hard! I literally only hit him because he moved into my attack! You saw that! He moved into my attack! That was not because of good aim, that's because the AI was like, Yeah, I want to get hit by this! Okay, we have hit him for nearly two to 3,000 damage! How is he still kicking? Her! I'm not hardly getting any damage off on this evil beast. Oh my god, okay. I got 11 more! Well, 10 more now! Oh no. I still got my call bead heals. I've got uh, my other means of healing through items. Oh, thank God. Okay. Now here comes Mr. Douchebot. Hurt. Wow, he's got a lot of health, too. Can't do anything about that. Is that it? Oh, my God. That's it? Oh, my God. Thank you. Whoa. Oh, hello! I remember this guy! Whoa! Okay. Yeah, this was uh, the first boss I had to go against. It was like a molten lava uh, lizard thing. And he had an attack that was actually really hard to dodge. Not this, but... Yeah, you can use Crush! Which cancels my attack, which is... Yeah, all kinds of garbage. Yeah, get healed on. I think I want to use a call beat on this guy. I don't know what, though. That's the problem. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to use a call beat, what attack would I even pick? Because I'm pretty sure he's immune to certain ones that... Shakes. Oh, boy, here comes the crush again. How much does crush do? That's not bad, actually. I think I take more by his normal attacks. The biggest question is, how long is it going to take to defeat this one? Oh boy. His attack literally just vanished. He shot up into the air and it never came back down. Either that or it came back down off camera, which would be insane. I'm still kind of safe. I'm not too worried. This guy's really not tough. I had a harder time with Beast just because Beast was impossible to hit, but I can actually hit this guy. Do I have to go against like every single boss I've ever gone against? Don't make me lose my attack. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Oh no, I missed shot. No! Oh, I thought that would actually hit me before the heal went off and that I would actually die. Okay, we're good. Okay, it wouldn't have even killed me anyways. It would have just been really close. Okay, here's that. A heat heat crash, heat wave. Yep. Oh, wait, he got... Oh, I know, that was Beast thing. I'm like, did he get hit by his own attack? Do I have to go against every single boss I've ever gone against? Or is this, the, like, the literal end straw boss? Because I know, I know that I'm going through, like, an endurance round here, but good lord. This is quite the endurance. Oh, another heat crash. Oh boy! No! 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 Heal up! 
Okay, I don't want to waste Atlas either. Watch as this is the final boss and I just save all these for nothing. All right, I'm gonna use one call bead. I just don't know what though. Okay, let's see here. Electric Bolt was garbage. Disrupt, I don't think is gonna do anything. Fire Eyes had Heat Wave, Flare, Life Spark, and Storm, all of which were kind of garbage. Confound, First Aid. T what did Time Warp do? Oh, wait, Time Warp's a heal. I forgot, yeah. Time Warp removes the last set of damage that you take. Not Crush again! Hey, stop it. Get away from me. Oh, boy. Now I'm kind of scared because of how close he is. No, 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 no! Okay, Beast is doing pretty okay, so I'm going to use a 1-up. Thank God I go into, like, invincibility frames when I do this. I'm stuck! Okay, I, I was about to say, no, no, this is not how it ends. Getting crushed like crazy, though. This guy's going to run out of alchemy soon, right? I would hope so. Or, you know, run out of health soon. I'll even take that. This guy's... This guy's got a lot of health. I, again, I know it's supposed to be like some kind of endurance round, but my god. I, it, <laughs> oh, please. Oh, my god. You're getting too close. Here comes the next crush soon, I believe it. Okay, I'm hitting this guy for like a thousand each. I guarantee we've done over 10,000 damage to him. Guarantee it. What does that do, 80 damage again? Oh, about 100. Wow, okay. Oh, Beast is almost dead. Um... Let's go ahead and use a Nectar on Beast. That should heal him. Oh boy, only 150. Still, actually, that's pretty good, because now I'm down to about 150, and now we can both use it. Am I going to end up using all of my alchemy on this one room? Help! Ah, and then the perfect timing to get hit by two separate things. That was bullshit! I call unfair! Unfair! You're not fair! Oh, please. I remember this guy being a pain to deal with when he was the first, like, main boss, but good lord, this is getting ridiculous. Once again, his, his upward attack vanished. I hope everyone saw that. Of course everyone saw that. Everyone that even still watching anyways. Come on! Oh, jeez. Oh, really? Oh, boy. This guy. All right, you know what? We're, we're busting out the bazooka. This guy's taking forever. Oh, boy, I'm going to get hit, aren't I? Hit! <laughs> okay. All right. Um, right. Let's go with the bazooka. Let's use Cryoblast. Here we go. I gotta start doing the waylay damage right now. I should also use Energize too. I did not know I had that many Energizes on me. Energize with Cryo. Here we go. I wonder if it works with Bazooka. Oh, come on! That's not fair! Wait, I'm now stuck at 0%. Oh, because, like, it has to be... I'm assuming... Oh! 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 Oh, this is awesome! Oh, why haven't I not used Energize before? This is amazing! Oh, my... I just keep... Oh, this is the best! Oh! Oh my god! What?! Oh my god, it's the butler! Okay, okay, time out. Just hold up a second. <laughs> what? What's going on here? This is literally the final boss! Oh boy. All right, well, I might as well use everything I got right now. Except for Beast getting completely destroyed. Come on, buddy. 
Okay, now I want to use Atlas as well. <laughs> yeah! Take that! Take this! Take that! Okay, this is actually... Beast is getting completely clobbered. Did Energize wear out or did Atlas? I think Energize wore out. Either that or Atlas did. If Atlas did, that's kind of sad. It didn't last long at all. Um, Life Spark. Okay, it's not the Revival spell. Time Warp, Confound, First Aid. Let's go ahead and use First Aid. I gotta be very careful though. I'm ready to take a hit. Okay, good. Don't I have any kind of call bead? Shield, Shockwave, Hypnotize, Play. Give me Shield. Okay, um, yeah, definitely. Okay, I apologize for not using Energize earlier. For one thing, I didn't even know how many Energizes that I had. But for another thing, I, I did not expect this to be like the final end all be all whatever all. Okay, so I don't have a call bead that works with beast. So let's go ahead and use revive. And then let's use a call bead heal. Shockwave, hypnotize, play. Yeah, you don't got that. First aid on beast. Whoa, okay, I did not mean... Okay, this Energize is actually amazing. He kind of moves just barely before he attacks, so I gotta keep an eye on that. Okay, now we can use a super heal because we're both relatively low. We're getting close. I can't believe Atlas does not last that long. Ooh, that was bad timing on my part. Oh, shield has worn off. What was that other one that I had? Cure, energize, I had force field, but I only got one force field. So let's use the last call bead. Who had the shield? I think it was Camellia. What did he have again? Disrupt, restore. I wonder if restore is like the full heal up. Oh, give us both a shield. Yes, please. And then the call bead wore out, but I can make myself another one. Oh, Energize is also worn off. Oh, I try to run away. Oh, I only get one call bead though? Dang, that sucks. Okay, that's fine. I just, I want to use Energize. Does it work with Beast 2? Can I actually get it to work? Oh, it does. Yeah, use it on Beast 2. Beast attack! Come on, Beast! What are you doing? You're not actually dead, buddy! Oh, well. Oh, there we go. Now Beast is attacking. It hits him a lot, too. Just wait for him to attack and then go up and attack myself. This is easy. Easy money! Oh my god, this is simple. Mm. Oh wait, not when he not when he changes it up like that. Shield is worn off. Everything else is worn off. Um, I gotta use a call bead. And I wanna test to see if restore it is literally just okay if I'm already alive. Alright, so let's bring Beast back. I was just saying high hopes that he doesn't actually die. Okay, um, Boy, this, this robot butler really got tired of being a butler, huh? Okay, now she's using Energize for the both of us again. I wonder if it gets, if the time of the Energize gets cut in half. Because I have it on two of us. Okay, Beast, I'm gonna need a little bit more out of you, buddy. Beast, you're not even attacking, bro. You have this really good attack right now and you refuse to use it. I don't even, I don't even know, buddy. 
I don't even know what to tell you. I really wish that I leveled up my laser lance. That is one thing I will say. At least all of his attacks are so far very telegraphed. I should be careful of his, like, instantaneous attack. Oh boy, now I'm, I'm getting kind of scared to get that close to him. Oh boy. Alright, I'm just... I'm sorry, Beast, but you're not, you're not doing much for me right now, buddy. Like, even with the Energize, you don't attack. And that's not good. I need more out of you. I'm in a better spot not using him, which is sad, because I want to. Oh boy. I wonder if it can even work. You know what? Once again, I'm sad I haven't even tried it yet. It does not work with the laser lance. Okay. Has to be one that's already level 3. Alright, this guy's got a lot of health. I mean, he's the last boss, I get it. But wow. At least he's not the plague rat. That's all I'm going to say. Thank God. Woo! Got him! Is that it? Wait, is that... Was that the final boss? I, I assume... Whoa! Hello, buddy! Energize is worn off. You're going to pay for this filthy human. The professor! Not so fast, metalhead! No! Losing power! He turned my switch off! No! Oh. Carltron has left the building. Yikes. Looks like his insidious villainy days are over. So, Professor, what's going to happen to Evermore now? Hmm, that's a good question. I'm not sure. It was Carltron's influence that created the evil elements on Evermore. So I guess now that he's unplugged, I would suspect that these elements should be going away. You can take a look for yourself. The virtually put into the scene with the projectomatic Zaptron simulator. I'll virtually put. Wow, okay. Let's see here. Twist this knob. Pull this lever. Yes. That should do it. <laughs> and then I died. <laughs> Literally everything is dying. Whoa, okay. Now we're just committing mass genocide. Oh, boy. Oh, but God, I hated this part of the desert. I didn't even get to get my laser lance to the strongest it could be. I don't even feel bad for you skeleton bats. I hope you stay dead. Or you devil things. You, you were a pain to deal with. I don't feel sorry for you at all. Or those little mini dinosaur kickers. There is a lot of enemies that I really hated in this game now that I think about it. Whoa. Whoa, it looks like the big battle scene in Monster Quake down there. I, th I, I said that's like the whole name of the title. I believe that Evermore is on a collision course for destruction. With Carltron's influence gone, the balance of the world is completely offset. <laughs> so now I pace. Pace, 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 pace. The only way to reverse the problem is to remove our own influence on the world. Pace, pace, pace. Pace, pace, pace. We have to leave now and take our friends with us. On, or evermore will be nevermore forevermore. <laughs> Pace, 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 pace. Well, he's really pacing on this one. <laughs> Flick a little this, do a little that. Oh, this is not good. I'll say. 
Things are getting much worse. Oh boy. I don't know if this old space station can handle it. <laughs> Yoink. Frosty, we've got to go down there. Well, if you stop pacing, you got to find Elizabeth, Horace, and Camellia and bring them here. Then, we'll return to Badunk together. So do I actually have to do that? If there's only hope for Evermore and for us. It's the only hope for Evermore and us. Yeah, of course we'll do it. Uh, what do you suppose our chances are? <laughs> about the same as Metroid's. About five minutes. Integrate this function. Differentiate the result. Hmm. And what about Tiny? Take an Eaglin vector here. Invert it. Carry the three... Your for success are roughly zip. Wow. Let's do it. But you gotta give it a try. The good old Samus try. Let's go, Beast. We gotta get our friends. Is this actually gonna give me like a time limit or something? Or am I actually going full Samus Metroid on this? Oh, yes. Do I get to have control or is this just one big old cutscene? Looks like it's just one big old cutscene. I don't know what's happening. These quakes are getting worse. The village is doomed. The quakes have never been this bad. I fear you may be right. I still don't have any control, so I gotta like keep watching this. I can't call it apart yet. Elizabeth, you gotta come with us. Evermore is coming apart, and we're the cause. We gotta get out. Strongheart, I must leave, but I'd like to thank you and the whole village. You've been all so kind to me. These ground shakes are getting worse. I'm afraid it's because of me. Fire eyes, Elizabeth. Don't talk like this. The ground has shaken before. <laughs> it's not your fault. Nah. I'm afraid it is, dear friend. And things will only get worse if I stay. Elizabeth, no. Sniff, strong heart. Sniff. I don't think it would be so hard. Sniff, sniff, weep, sob. I know, little one, I know, but you should go now. The future is out there, not here. <laughs> the future. The future is there, not here. Technically, the future is not there because they're technically kind of stuck in their times because of the way Evermore works, I guess. All right, so we got Elizabeth. Okay, next we got to get Horus. Horus still, dear chap, we gotta get out of here. I believe these quakes are getting much worse. We are, after all, only one big island. I think you're right, my friend. People haven't started to panic yet. But if things don't improve, they'll soon be chaos. Chaos, I dare say. Her. Horus! What a name. Also, it, isn't he dressed exactly like What's-His-Face and Curious George? All yellow. He's like one big banana. And April, for that matter, from the Ninja Turtles. Like, literally just pure yellow. Hmm. How long can we stay, the worse it's gonna get. We just gotta get out of here. Horse, if the boy is right, you should leave immediately. This guy don't even care. Don't worry, I can take care of things here. I know you can, my friend. You're a good man, Mandurinus. Whatever his name is. How are you, Horace Highwater? Oh, as are you. Okay, well, whatever. We gotta get out. You're slow walking, bro. Get moving. All right, and then we gotta get what's her face, Camellia, the fake queen. Boy, if I was the one driving, I'd be going in circles trying to find where I'm supposed to go. Good thing the AI's like, the cutscene's like, yeah, I know exactly where I'm supposed to go. And just go there, goes there immediately. Oh dear, I'm so scared. Seriously, she looks like a, like she has a mustache, I swear. Camellia, we gotta go. Evermore is shaking apart. No time to explain. We must be gone. Camellia, my sweet, don't leave me. Oh, boy, this is where it gets tough. You heard the boy? You can have the castle. Wow, okay. Just like that. I like it. I like her style. 
Just like that. It's like, you know what? Nah, fuck it. I'm out. I'm out. I respect that. Where are we going? We need to go to space. What are we doing here? Why do we take the long route? You know we're in trouble because of the many colors. Hurry, friends! We gotta go back to Padunk. We're running out of time. Goodbye, Carl Tron. I'll see you on the other side. I wonder if he means literally. Like he's just gonna be, they're all gonna get zapped to Padunk. Where's Frosty? There's not much time. What the hell is that little shit doing? Well, fuck him. I'm just gonna leave and not tell him how we gotta get out. I hope he makes it. <laughs> he's like, he's like, oh, fuck it. I hope he knows how to get out of here. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah, what, what took them so long? Wait, what? Forget about the cat? That's so cruel. You're just gonna let the cat die? Oh, no. Oh, poor cat. We just sacrificed a freaking cat. I forgot even what Beast originally looked like. Oh, yeah, just... Okay, cool. Hey, it's Beast. Good to see that you're back to normal. Poor cat. Everything is normal. And it's boring now. Good old Padunk, str nothing strange here. I wonder what if that whole adventure was just a product of our overly active imaginations. Don't you pull that dream bullshit on me. Wow. What the secret of Evermore? I think we've got our answer. What the heck? Well, we're safe and we're home, friends. That was a close call indeed. It certainly was. Now a new adventure begins in this real world. It's not 1965 anymore, you know. Now that it was, that it was time ago, but I'm going to miss my village. And I will miss my kingdom. And I will miss my robot butler. What ever will become of evermore? Oh, well, okay. And, um, that's the game. Secret of Evermore. I gotta say, I am glad that I did come back to finish the game. However, even though I consider it to be quite a gem of a game, boy, I really feel like this aged kind of poorly. That's kind of hard for me to say because, again, I never played Secret of Evermore as a kid. Closest thing I ever played to it was Secret of Mana, and I wasn't even really good at Secret of Mana. And I, I don't even know how well Secret of Mana really holds up. And even if I wanted to see, I'd probably play the Secret of Mana remake. Which makes me believe that since they did do a remake of Secret of Mana, they might do a remake of Secret of Evermore in the future. And that I would probably go out of my way and give a try. Um, but the combat's very clunky. And that was like one of the things that kind of turned me away from Secret of Mana in the first place. Honestly, it probably would have still kind of turned me away in this game if it wasn't for the fact that the Spears Long Distance was very abusable. And that's always one of the things that you really hate to say when you play a game. is like, yeah, I beat it. And it was supposed to be because I abused something. You know, I abused the distance of the Spear quite a bit. Still relatively challenging. But I do feel like the combat felt a little bit lacking. And a lot of that was because outside of healing, I felt like unless I just did it wrong, I really just felt like all of the alchemy attacks were so useless. They did no real damage to my opponents. There was really no reason for me to utilize them. 
and yeah, I don't know. That kind of took it away from a bit because then I'm stuck with only having to use my weapons and the only weapon that I found good to use was the spear because you can keep distance away from your opponents. Um, having Beast as a companion was okay, except for the very end where he really didn't do anything, which was really sad, unfortunately. That was like, wow. Was it really that small of a team that made this game? Oh my god, I guess it really was. And again, back then, I guess you could make a game like this with that few people, but... Um, again, I still think it's a really... It's a good game. It is a relatively fun game. Not my kind of fun, personally. Um, there was a lot of things I enjoyed, but then there was a lot of things where I was like, eh, I could live without in some cases. Mostly on how a lot of the boss fights kind of felt a little dragged down. They did the same thing. The final boss is literally the guy just jumping back and forth and shooting a machine gun. Other than getting caught a few times and having to heal, there wasn't really all that much left going on uh, in that boss fight. Uh, the Plague Rat was literally the hardest thing I had to go against, and it wasn't interesting hard. It was, I think this is actually kind of bullshit hard. Uh, oh, man, I remember going against this guy. That's crazy. Back when using the bone was like the only thing that I had. Wow. Okay. But, uh, yeah, that's a Secret of Evermore. And... Again, if I I might try and do Secret of Mana one day, uh, not anytime soon, but if I do, it might be the remake that I'll play instead of the older version. Because again, the, the clunkiness of the combat, I'm not exactly a fan of. That is bullshit. You could not be that far in the game at level 30. No, not level 30, but at 30 HP. I'm calling bull. That is insane bull. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Final thoughts, I, I had some fun, and I got annoyed in a lot of areas. Um, I had There was a number of glitches that happened that I had to go back and redo some stuff on. There was a lot of things that I personally did not enjoy. Um, I, I just think it's, it's an okay game. You know, I consider it a gem. I don't consider it great, but I do consider it a gem. I see why some people say, oh yeah, Secret of Evermore is pretty good. Yeah, okay, I, I thought it was pretty good, but... Just pretty good. I think there's... I'd much rather play a lot of other Super Nintendo games before playing this one, so... But if a remake does come out like Secret of Mana did, I will go ahead and give it a try. But I've been blabbing on for way too long. Uh, that's Secret of Evermore. We're done with it. Um, I don't know exactly what's going to be coming next now that Secret of Evermore is done. There is a list of games I need to look through and see kind of what I want to pick to play next, so I don't exactly know. Um... I did make a promise uh, to myself that I'd eventually get back into the Batman Arkham series. I already did Arkham Asylum, now I can go and do Arkham City. I might go into doing that because we're hitting about a year and a half. Um, well, actually, no, when did Arkham Asylum end? Eh, almost about a year and a half ago. So I feel like it's about time I get back into that. So that's probably what I'll look to get into next is Arkham City, but we'll see. If it's not it, I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be, but more than likely it'll be Arkham City. Anyways, that's that. Enjoy the rest of your evenings, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll catch you all on the next game.